Steve Mignani here for Asseter Auctioneers and the Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction Event with item 243, a 1964 Plymouth Belvedere two-door post. Now, if you know your max wedges and your race hemis, you'll know that 64 and 5 two-door post Dodge and Plymouth cars are as scarce as hen's teeth. Well, here's one right here. Now, this one has been through the ringer. The quarter panels have been sliced out by some butcher, <laughs> maybe a frustrated altered wheelbase fanatic, uh, a later eight and three quarter with a one-piece axle has been added, but one thing inside that makes this car stunning is the four-speed transmission hump. Yup. This car was originally built with either a three-speed manual, which would have been the Borg One or T85, or the brand new for 64 Chrysler A833 four-speed. That hump right there sets this car apart from the herd. The dashboard's nice. Again, there's a manual transmission car. No buttons over here. That's the block-off plate. Uh, this one has a heater. It is not a race Hemi. It's not a Max Wedge. We know that. I checked the numbers, but it is a Fury two-door post. Let's take a peek under the hood and up front. And again, this is a beautiful example of rust-free Texas metal. Down low here, where you would see rust all the way up, this is absolutely rust-free metal. Beautiful stuff. You just don't see this anymore. Uh, all the way up here, the fender is beautiful. A little bit of a dent right there, but that's not a big deal. I'd rather pull that out than deal with rust. And this stuff right here, we call it a Texas suntan. That's not rust. You dual action sand that, prime it, fill it, paint it, you're ready to go. So a beautiful driver's side front fender. Let's go under the hood area. The hood itself is in fantastic shape, also a very much uh, rust-free item. Under the hood we have manual steering. Uh, this would have been a manual drum brake car. And uh, inner fenders and firewall look fantastic. Ordinarily you look for a lot of rot and corrosion through here. I'm not seeing it. This here is solid and sound. And so are the inner fenders. Never been cut for fender wall headers. But we come around to this side and here is the Standard 10-inch drum brake front suspension, A-OK, -okay, torsion bars, etc. And again, the inner fenders on this are in really, really fantastic shape. It's come here to the door. Again, this is a two-door post door. These are incredibly hard to find with a full door frame. The magnet sticks everywhere. That's a wonderful, rust-free 64 Plymouth Belvedere door. And again, the full door frame right there. These doors are virtually impossible to find. A lot of guys actually make these doors when they're trying to build a 64 or 5 Tudor post. Down low here, the quarter panel is fantastic. Bit of a dent, but no rust. This is virginal, not been rusted. But unfortunately, again, somebody's got in here years and years ago and hogged out the wheel openings. Again, maybe to move it forward, like a funny car, don't know. Inside the trunk, okay, a pretty decent trunk floor. It's not rusted at all, but we can see somebody was getting ready to mini tub this car. The uh, wheel tubs have been sliced out and probably, you know, on the way toward putting big fat slicks. They lost interest, who knows? But again, you can easily replicate and replace the missing parts on this one. So again, this is a very rare body. This is a perfect perfect core to build a 64 uh, race Hemi or an altered wheelbase funny car. So it's a fantastic project car waiting to happen. Minimal rust, make the right move and bid strong. It's a good one.